Hannah, I had no idea walking into 10th grade Spanish class would be the day that would change my life forever. From high school sweethearts to standing up here about to marry you, my best friend, my soulmate, you've made me the happiest man in the world. From your infectious smile that brought me in at first sight to your unconditional love for everyone around you, your beautiful laugh and those gorgeous blue eyes I get lost in are just a few of the many things that I love and cherish about you. The way you have goals for the future, live in the moment, take on each day, following your heart, taking in the little things anytime you can get, and truly showing what love is, means, and its strength are the reasons why I want to be by yourself forever. From our beginning as high school sweethearts where our love story first began, we have accomplished and grown so much. Our bond together is so special and one of a kind. From holding you in my arms on top of the world on Pikes Peak, graduating high school together, to the birth of our daughter together, the long weekends at the cabin together, laying on the couch binge watching our favorite shows every night, <laughs> <laughs> and most recently buying our first home together, shows our love has no limits. Our relationship has bloomed and flourished through the test of time. Through the last decade together, we've faced obstacles, some stronger than others that have helped us build a strong foundation of our relationship. I love how we are not only lovers, but also best friends. We laugh, pick on each other, do everything together, and face what's to come full steam ahead together hand in hand. We support each other in all aspects of life, put each other in check when we always need it most, and above all, always give each other never-ending love. I love that we can take life and its obstacles hand in hand. Together, nothing can stop us. With you by my side, there's nothing we can't accomplish. You've challenged me to better myself, and I love that about you. Conkin Jordan, and boy, I was like, oh my God, he is the one. I knew it, and I was like, Chris, he's got to be the one. Sure enough, 10 years later, to this beautiful day, you guys are still together and conquering the world, and you're doing an amazing job as parents, and I hope I did an amazing job for you, to teach you and everything. <laughs> and I'm not a good speaker, but I am blessed with her and Jordan and Aubrey and Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan. I've loved you for 10 years. Today, I officially claim all of the rest of them. I've known since the moment you came over for my 16th birthday party and you met my entire family <laughs> in one day. And that didn't scare you away. Or when my 11-year-old brother pulls you aside to tell you if you ever break his sister's heart, he's gonna beat you up. <laughs> I couldn't be more excited to finally have the title I've been wanting for forever, your wife. When it was our senior year of high school and we had just found out I was pregnant, I was so scared of what our future would look like. All I can remember is how you made me feel. You told me we could conquer anything together and that having our daughter now just meant we get to love her for longer and start our family earlier. I'm the best woman and mother because of you. We've accomplished so much together, graduating high school, becoming parents, getting an apartment, growing in our careers, and getting our fur baby to buying our first house together and all the little <laughs> things in between. I wish I could go back and tell my younger self that not only do I get to go to prom with that cute brown eyed skater boy, <laughs> but something much better. I get to spend forever with him as my partner, my better half, and my best friend. And that's all. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never know how much you're sending me those good morning beautiful texts every day for how you always make sure I have gas in my car so I never have to actually stop. <laughs> I cannot wait for a lifetime of those little moments with you, doing everything and nothing together. Thank you for making life so fun and never making me have to guess how much you care about me. 
I will spend all of my life trying to show you just how much I appreciate the things you do for me. I vow to try my hardest to step away from my stubbornness and accept that I make mistakes and that I'm not always right. <laughs> I vow to always leave my car an empty for you to fill up. <laughs> I vow to chase your dreams alongside you. I vow that way out. I vow that while I may not always be on time, I will do my best to not always be late. I vow to always get Chinese takeout on Valentine's Day. I oh. vow to keep our fridge full of summer shandies. <laughs> <laughs> I vow to love, respect, protect, and trust you and give you the best of me even when it is hardest. I vow to take the time to feel how we feel right now, young and in love. In our life, you've been my high school sweetheart, my prom date, my fiance, my co-parent, my best friend, my best and my best friend. I'm so excited to fall more in love with you in your newest role as my husband. I have loved you since I was 16. I love you today, and I will love you for all of our tomorrows. Some people are lucky enough to have a best friend. Whew. I'm lucky enough to have to have a Hannah Marie. You are the sweetest, most caring, biggest supporter I could ever ask for in a best friend. Sorry. <laughs> and I thank God for you every day. Um, Hannah has been there for me through so many of life's journeys. A shoulder to cry on, my listening ear, laughing until we seriously cannot breathe anymore. <laughs> And not only my best friend, but my forever sister. And I love you. <laughs> when it comes to Jordan and me, the biggest things we look for in a person is loyalty. And that is one thing I'll never doubt about you is you and your loyalty. Now we all know how much of a family man you are. When it comes to being a father, you are in the one of the most best fathers I know. Which leads me to the biggest, second biggest thing that we both value is family. Now when we say family, you don't need to look alike or have that same bloodline. We look at it as love and acceptance. Jordan, you're not just a friend, you're my family and my brother. Now homie, I'm all done with the mushy gushy stuff. <laughs> um, I've had the privilege of watching him grow into the best man I know, along with Papa who is watching over us today. I like to think that I've impacted his life somehow, but really, he's impacted mine the most. Siblings, partners in crime, and best friends, I am so happy that he's chosen to spend his life with this beautiful bride. If I could mold a woman specifically for my brother, it would have to be Hannah and everyone. You've both gotten so lucky. Seeing the two of you together always makes me smile and I you are the first to make me an auntie, a love that I will carry forever. You are a perfect match for each other. You give each other permission to be yourselves. You accept each other's imperfections. Most importantly, you support and encourage each other. He is no longer a boy, but a man who has met his equal. Another person in this world who is as deserving as him as he is of her. I love you. First time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Hubbard. My guy, my dog, my brother. <laughs> Today is the day you get to marry the woman of your dreams. I'm already about to cry. I don't think anyone was surprised when the news came out, but more of it's about damn time. <laughs> I'm honored to be your best man. And for me, for you who don't know me, my name is Christian. I've watched this relationship grow from day one. From the good times, the bad times, the drunk times, the high times. <laughs> I've seen it all. One thing for sure is they always made it work. It's not hard to see the love Jordan has for you, Hannah. I want to thank you, Hannah, for being Jordan's person. Thank you for loving my man unconditionally. 
thank you for giving my man a brother, or giving my, my brother a family. Thank you for being the person Jordan can trust. I'm proud of the man you've become, Jordan, the way you handle your business. I remember the day you told me you were having a kid. And I was like, it's about time you step up. And you did, and then some. You're a great father, and you'll be a great husband to Hannah. So along came uh, Aubrey and Jordan. And, <laughs> and, it's the, <laughs> and it's the greatest thing. I remember when you were just this little, smart mouthed little girl, and you haven't changed. <laughs> you know, all I can say is, Jordan, I can't think of anybody else I'd rather see my daughter be with. And I love you guys, and I could sit up here and sob, which I'm about to, but uh, I love you guys, and good luck, and get on to some more grandchildren. <laughs>
You wanna be like this Let me show you how to get it You wanna be like this You wanna be like this Let me show you how to get it like me Get it, get it like me Cause the best is what I really might be Let me show you how to get it You wanna be like this You wanna be like this 